This is Prunus virginiana, the choke cherry. It's a common understory shrub that's quite shade tolerant, and there's a number of ways that you can tell it from black cherry, which is a tree. Let's take a look at some of those details. Like black cherry, the leaves are alternate and simple. And when both plants are young and vegetative, you'll need some key leaf features to tell them apart. First off, you can get it into the genus Prunus by the presence of paired glands near the top of the petiole. When crushed, the leaves will have an almond or maraschino cherry smell. Chokecherry leaves are more elliptical, being only about twice as long as they are broad, compared to black cherry's narrower leaves. Also, you won't see rust-colored hairs on the mid-vein of the underside in a chokecherry leaf, unlike black cherry. The teeth of chokecherry are sawtoothed, sharply pointing outward. Black cherry has blunt teeth that curve inward. The bark of this shrub is thin with a reticulate or net-like pattern to it. Choke cherries can form dense thickets in the understory. It has pretty elongate clusters of white flowers in spring and red fruits maturing to black in the fall. The fruits, however, are bitter and astringent, not sweet like black cherry, hence the name choke cherry. <laughs> 